change. It's Wonderful Friday today, and we are going to create a vase with a face. Okay? So let's begin. You can use marker or pencil if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and start with marker. And I'm going to start with making my first ellipse up here at the top. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can create a vase. And you can make it pretty crazy. In fact, I'm going to make another ellipse right here. And just watch me for a second before you begin. I'm going to make another ellipse right here. One right here. And then finally, I'll finish off with one right here. So you can see there are a lot of different sizes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect these ellipses to create my vase. Now there we go. We have a pretty creative vase. It's maybe not one that we would see every day. But by connecting the ellipses right at the edge, I have created a pretty um, creative looking vase. So on, in your sketchbook now, go ahead and make some ellipses. You can go outward. You can also bring the lines inward to connect to the outside of the ellipses. And then you can go out again. Now we wanted to make this, we wanted to take it even to the next step and, make, and put a face in the, in the vase. And so as I look at my vase, I'm trying to think, what could I do to make this look more alive? And we know that if we want to put a face in anything, we've got to add a nose. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put a nose right here. Now if you have pencil, you'll be able to erase your ellipses. If you don't, we'll just have to color over them. And then I'm going to go ahead and make his mouth, or her mouth, or whatever he or she. Maybe a little chin right there. Some eyes. These are the eyebrows. There's an eye. Just make like an almond shape. You can give them ears. You can, oh, there's so many different things you can do when you're sketching and being creative. I can give them some ears if I want. I could actually put a handle that would look like ears. Why not? This is art. We're creative. So let's have fun. Okay. So I don't want you to think you have to keep stay up with me by any means. But the next thing I would do is decide, do I what do I want to do with the bottom part of this base? Do I want to turn it into the rest of the body, or do I want to just make it more of a vase? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to celebrate more of the vase shape and put some really just kind of neat abstract or geometric designs in there. Patterns.
also we want to give it a little bit of a shadow to see where the light source is coming from. So I'm going to make sure that the light is coming from that area. So now the fun begins. Just taking markers and kind of deciding how you want to color it in. I know that the inside of my vase I want to probably um, darken. So it looks like it's a vase that can hold something or store something. My background, I think I'm going to keep it pretty light in color. You don't have to color the whole background in. And what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and start to cross hatch lines getting close to the vase to give it a nice strong contrast but this is a great way to celebrate our pottery that we did this week so I'm going to go ahead and give him some blue eyes Or her. I'm going to work on the shadow over here. And I still got a lot of work to do in the actual part of the vase. But let me go ahead and work on the background over here a little bit more. It's so much fun to place those ellipses in a lot of different directions and then see what you end up getting when you connect them. You might not even see a person's face. You might see an animal's face, a cartoon face, whatever it may be. But the fun part is you've created it all on your own just by connecting those ellipses and that's what art is all about you want to be creative you want to take the skills that you've learned from your art teachers and then how can you be creative with it how can you make it your own art Looking for some more colors. I think I'm going to take like a... I like markers that are kind of running out of ink a little bit. Because it gives it kind of an airbrush effect. I'm going to start to shade in the face a little bit more. I don't know about you, but this sure is fun. I can't wait to walk around and see what everybody's creating. I if I want to make it look like there is light shining on one side. I can put some yellows. I can blend other colors. You don't have to color it in solid.
going to get a chance to finish this because I know the bell's going to ring soon. But please make sure you put your name. I'm looking forward to seeing some fantastic illustrations from you today. You can finish these up probably on Monday. Thanks for working so hard this week on your pottery. Bye for now.